to holisticinvestment.in YouTube channel, we help individual investors like you to take a right financial and investment decision. Delivery IPO is around the corner. Should you buy it? What kind of diversification this can bring to your overall portfolio? What kind of return it can add to your overall portfolio? What kind of risk it can add to your portfolio? Let us review. Hi, this is Ramalingam from holisticinvestment.in. We help individual investors like you to take right financial and investment decision. First, let us understand about the delivery limited IPO details. Uh, the issue is open uh, uh, now. And uh, delivery limited is providing service all over India. And it has generated revenue growth in the last three years, nine months. Does it mean do you have to invest in this IPO? Like here are some key details. The IPO is open on 11th May and the offer closes on 13th May. Allotment will be finalized on 19th May. A refunds will be initiated on 20th May. So the shares will be created to your demand account on 23rd May. And 24th May is going to be the listing date. Right? So it is going to be the judgment day whether the share is going to be listed uh, at a you know, like a higher price than the subscription price or going to be listed low. We have to wait and see. It is on 24th May. So you have to buy this share or you can avoid this share IPO. Let us analyze and find out. Uh, delivery is a biggest and fast developing fully integrated logistics service provider in India. Right? And uh, they aspire to make an operating system for commerce. And uh, it is basically an asset like business model. That means they will not own all the assets like Ola, Uber, Sugi kind of companies. No, like it is an asset like company. Right? They won't own all the assets, they won't own all the like uh, uh, delivery vehicles or logistics spaces, they will like uh, give it to the uh, partners based on that model it is developed. So it's an, it's an asset light business model. In the asset light business model, it is easy to scale, but at the same time, the risk is stability because it is an asset light model. Stability can be low in the long run. There are three operating principles on which this company works. Better approach to serve people. Yes, their customer service, 23,000 plus customers. So they have got a very good customer service and their partners, they are, uh, they are extremely serving well, their partners. And predominantly they are you know, like uh, growing through the alliance, growing through the partner network they have created. So they have got a very strong partner network. And the third important parameter for efficiency is quality improvement. The way in which they you know, like use effectively use the resources to deliver the results. That is amazing. Right? So these are all the three principles on which this particular company operates. And uh, I have already shared you these dates to you. And the issue price is between 462 to 487 per shares minimum lot size is 30 shares is what you have to buy now how strong the company is let us analyze the company is you know like going to you know, like definitely into fast expansion and growth and uh, they are able to scale large scale is easily possible logistics ownership operating they have very uh, their own proprietary operating system for logistics which which is one of the strong points for them and they have highly trained qualified professional staff members strong customer relationship and they have got you know, like varied uh, customer base from different industries different six stars for more than 20, 23,000 customer base well diversified customer base even if one industry is not doing well they'll be able to get business from the other industry. And one uh, important strong parameter of Delivery Limited is their extensive data intelligence capabilities. Data analytics is an important uh, field today in these kind of businesses. So they are very good at it. 
and the market share of these kind of logistics companies the overall market itself is growing so delivery has got a good market share and they are also increasing the market share and the overall market is also rapidly growing so they have very comprehensive logistical services so they are not limited logistical services they have a very long very comprehensive logistical services right? the issue size is like you know like uh, 5235 crores 1235 crores like uh, uh, worth of shares by the existing shareholders will be sold and 4000 fresh issue would be used for the growth overall growth right if we look at the after tax profit in the last 3 years and 9 months it is negative so this particular company has a negative cash flow that we have to take into account this is an important thing though they have revenue and their revenue is also growing year after year but at the same time in the last 2 and half years their profit after tax which is negative that is loss after tax has actually gone up it is going up so that also we have to consider so what are all the positive factors they provide comprehensive uh, logistic services so uh, they do like uh, express package heavy goods delivery and uh, in this business economies of scale is good because they are large operators so their economies of scale is very good and in and in the and in the recent years 3 years plus 9 months like uh, the company has experienced fast expansion that is what we have seen it in their revenue growth size synergies across all lines of business like you know, extensive partnership network all these are all positive factors strength of this particular company in the last 3 years and 9 months the revenue has increased significantly because of this and they are heavily focusing on automation they are heavily focusing on automation that is another important positive factor for this kind of logistics companies right so we have looked at what are all the positive factors now let us focus on what are all the risk factor as an investor you have to pay attention to it right uh, uh the company has incurred losses uh, in the last 3 years 9 months and uh, according to the prospectors the company is expecting similar losses in future also so in the recent past it obviously experienced negative cash flows right uh, the company is relying on uh, scalability automation unified network infrastructure which primarily consists of logistics and transportation facilities right so dependency seems to be a major challenge here and in these kind of industries disruption is easy because this is uh, the, the entire business model is asset like model and it is technology based model someone can come and easily disrupt this industry a new player can come and easily disrupt this industry because it is an asset like model anyone can start such a business easily right with the help of technology some breakthrough in the technology a newbie can come and give a breakthrough in in this particular industry and uh, they can disrupt the existing companies right and uh, because it is you know logistics transportation oriented business uh, fluctuating fuel prices can be uh, a risk factor for this particular business because of that they may have to increase the price whether the company has the pricing power all those things plays an important role so because of these risk factors like i would suggest investors to be careful you do your own analysis and also go through the prospectus completely before taking a decision and from the valuation perspective if you look at it 462 to 487 no the per share is the price but in the last 3 and 1/2 years company is making continuous losses also we are not able to arrive at pe ratio because it was making losses so it is difficult for us to find out whether it is underpriced issue or overvalued issue but however it is loss making company do you have to risk your investment that is what we have to 
or take into account. So from the risk perspective, number one, obvious from the data point, fact says the company is making loss. And number two, the company is in the particular sector which can be easily disrupted by a new player. And it is also an asset light model. Because of these kind of risk as an investor, do you have to invest in these companies? I would strongly suggest you can stay away from this uh, IPO because it is making losses and uh, it is in the easy to disturbed industry. So I would suggest as an investor, you can avoid this. Definitely does not going to add any value to your long-term portfolio. I'm not sure whether this is going to be like uh, another Paytm or not, I'm not sure. But the point here is in your long-term portfolio, it may not add value based on the present fundamental factors. So I would say we can strongly avoid this particular share IPO. If you have any questions related to this or any other investment options or related to your financial goals, feel free to book a free appointment with our financial planner. The link to the free booking is given in the description below this video. Also, will you be interested to attend insightful investment webinar? Then feel free to register for our upcoming insightful enlightening investment webinar and it is completely free. The registration link for the upcoming webinar is also given in the description box. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Also share it in your social circle. If you are not subscribed to our YouTube channel so far, please subscribe now. Bye.